What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we're in Pewaukee, Wisconsin and we're getting ready to check out another fantastic home. This one, it's got a little ultra modern flair to it. So let me turn you around, I'll tell you all about it. Say hello to the Farmington 2 Ultra. This home is from Westridge Builders and it features an impressive four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms and a three car garage sitting inside of approximately 5,500 square feet. And I just did notice the little balcony right there as you're walking up to the home, but I haven't been too far into this house yet so super excited about getting into it i did look at the floor plan and have a little bit of an idea of some of the cool things that we're going to be seeing inside of it if you are interested in this home the price it wasn't disclosed to me however after a little investigative research homes in this neighborhood are going for north of 1.2 million dollars but with that like i said super excited and let's get inside and see what all we can find all righty oh my goodness would you get a load of that these ceilings are huge. Got the coffered ceilings up there. Tons of windows. This home is made for a giant. Beautiful fireplace. I love all the lines in this home. And y'all, y'all wait till you see this kitchen. Ooh, the colors in that thing. They are popping. So this is the foyer right here again. Huge ceilings carried through here. Tons of windows. Plenty of space for decorating. And then I absolutely love these floors. I think they look great. You've got a gigantic coat closet right here, like the doors. But plenty of space for coats too. Like you could have the whole family over here. Man, oh man. There's, a, there's another cool little, it's almost like a coat room off the laundry room, something. I, I kind of shocked me when I first saw it. I didn't really know what 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 it was you know what i mean but then over on the right hand side as you walk through the front door you've got this flex room little office space it's got these nice pocket doors with the glass inlay there's actually two of them a nice big space turn this into anything really uh, if you wanted it to be an office or craft room or parlor area the sky is the limit. It's got a little walkway back out into the kitchen for a mid-afternoon snack. Or lunch, depending on what you refer to it as. But plenty of space. And then we'll come back out here into the foyer and continue on. Now we're not going to hop right into the great room because I want to keep with the flow of the house. So we're going to hang left over here and come into the master bedroom with more impressive ceilings. Like this whole house is just super tall and I absolutely love it. Now the room itself isn't super big in terms of footprint, but the ceilings more than make up for it and really give it uh, a, a grand feel. You know what I mean? Plenty of space in here. And then just off of the bedroom is the ensuite. You've got some double vanities. A linen closet. The water closet, all of the closets. This one's got a little pocket door right here. And then you've got this really pretty soaking tub sitting just below the window. And all the windows got these blinds that uh, you can pull down. And then this shower. Whew. Man, I am in love with this thing. I love the dark tones. Nice and moody looking. Got the tile going all the way up to the ceiling. And then, of course, my favorite part, personally, is the dark shower tray. I like that a lot. But you've got great big kind of rainfall shower head or removable shower head oh and i like that little lip up there too that's kind of handy that runs all the way like the length of the shower and then just off of the ensuite like all the way through it you come into the closet huge window look at that sky that is beautiful and blue it is a nice day today it's a little chilly a little chilly but uh, other than that, it is nice. Now the ceiling's in here, it's got a little bulkhead, but then it also kind of extends up a little bit. 
plenty of built-ins in here, some attic access. And then from here, we'll go ahead and hop into the great room. Now this home, I mean, just everywhere you go, whew, you already get a glimpse of that kitchen right there. Gorgeous. But uh, everywhere you go, it's got uh, something cool, you know, from what I've seen on the floor plan. I'm really excited to get down into the basement. But this fireplace going all the way up to the ceiling, love the cowherd ceilings. And then on either side, you've got plenty of room to put some nice built-ins if you wanted to. Ooh, it's even got like a little cutout for your TV. That's nice. The only thing that would stink about that is if uh, you ever decided to upgrade, like you want a little bit bigger one, it wouldn't fit there anymore. But I'll go ahead and turn you around. You got views up into the loft area. And then also the kitchen. And then here, just off of the great room, you do have access uh, through some sliding glass doors out onto uh, the back porch area. But we also have some uh, over in the dining room area. And we'll access it. We'll get back there. Uh, once we start taking a look at the dining room but i want to get into this kitchen because it is gorgeous first off you have the island nice tent lights hanging down over the top of it plenty of seating space you probably fit like five or six stools up here if you wanted to really nice countertops man i love this color right here it's like a slate blue got the nice gold pools and then, ooh, the appliances. These are Jen's favorite. Like, that's her dream appliances, and they all match. Got the nice undermount sink looking out into the great room. Nice soft close drawers. Got a trash can. And then on the back side again, hopefully that color comes through. Like, in here it is. It is really beautiful looking, like nice and bright. And it looks really sharp with the white, kind of the wood accents. But you've got the gas range, range hood. And then along the back side, you've got the built-in microwave, the oven, and the refrigerator. It's just nice, cause like the pulls on the cabinets match the pulls on all the appliances kind of looks cool and then on the opposite side of the kitchen is the dining room pretty little space and then this i like this too uh let's go ahead and let's go out here let's hop out here and then we'll go out onto the back patio this is kind of like an all seasons room which I think this is a big thing up here in Wisconsin because when I was up here touring like modular homes, uh, probably almost a year ago now, um, a lot of those had kind of some all season rooms too. I love the ceilings in here though. Nice little spot to mount the TV. It's like if you kind of want to be outside in the winter, this is the spot. I'm not sure. I don't know if the basement is walked out or not. Like, I see the patio down there. I'll we'll have to get down there and look in a little while. But, uh, out here, you got plenty of space for some outdoor entertaining. You can get the grill out here. It's kind of a nice spot to hang out. Tons of windows. And then down on the patio area, got like a little spot to put a fire pit. Maybe some cornhole. Ooh, that'd be nice. And then, all right, now we can go over here and kind of see the laundry room in this little coat room area. Ooh, I forgot. I forgot it's got a pantry. Oh man, it does have that though. And y'all, the cool thing about this pantry is that it's proximity to the garage. Like there's the garage door right there. And uh, I guess we'll, we'll go check out all this stuff. They do got a lot of stuff in the garage. They're using it for storage right now. But nice big garage, you know, three car. But you can just bring your groceries right on in, you know what I mean? 
like easy peasy. You got a little drop zone right here. And then off of that is the powder room. Another little moody room. And then into the laundry room. So tons of space in here. This is, this is a nice one. So washer dryer hookups, plenty of cabinets. I love the floating shelves in here too. We've got this great big wash basin looking out into the side yard. And then back behind us, they've got it set up like a little pet area. Put all the leashes and stuff in the drawer. And then this right here, this is kind of what I was referring to. It's just like a, a huge coat room, you know what I mean? So you could, especially up here, I guess it'd be nice. You put all your, your wet winter clothes up here. Let them dry off a little bit. Or just all the kids game stuff, you know, if they're outside playing all the time, that type of stuff. All right, let's go ahead and go upstairs first and then we'll work our way down to the basement because I think the basement's got like the super cool stuff. So uh, up here, you've got some bedrooms and this loft area. Ooh, it's kind of split up a little bit. So. This could be like a cool little kids area. And then it's even got, it's got this little balcony that looks out into the front yard. Which is pretty neat. I feel like, I know Cody would probably use this stuff to escape. <laughs> Gonna have to watch them as they get older. Over here shimmying down the side of the house. But uh, like I said, it is split. So on either side of this wall right here are hallways leading down to uh, the secondary bedrooms. Uh, that one's got Jack and Jill. Let's go ahead and go over here first. So this is, I think the first of the three bedrooms up here. I know it's set up like another little game room, but I'm pretty sure this is uh, one of the ones that is a bedroom. It looks like it. It has all the things, you know what I mean? But a huge room. Got the coat closet. And then across the hall, this is the second room. I wanted to save this one because it's got this Jack and Jill bathroom, so it's just kind of easy to, to flow. But these rooms are cool because they kind of like, they've got character to them, you know what I mean? They're not just square bedrooms. They've got nooks and crannies and humongous closets. Got some more attic access in this one. Are there lights in? Yeah, there's lights in here. They're just not on. And then into the Jack and Jill. So you got a vanity on either side. And then back behind us is a separate water closet. It's got a little pocket door right here. With the shower and tub and then the toilet. And then all the way through towards the back of the house. Oh, maybe not, maybe I was wrong. That first one that we, I guess it could be a fifth bedroom. So this would just be the third bedroom up here. This one's sitting again towards the back of the house. I just saw another bedroom right next to us and I was like, hmm. So I guess you can let me know what you would do with it in the comments. Are you going to turn this into a five bedroom? Are you going to leave it as kind of a secondary den area, like a little game room? Or what you're thinking? Man, all of these things are massive. This closet might even be the biggest one we've seen. 
it's got so this one has kind of its own ensuite but it's also connected uh, to the hallway you got the single vanity toilet and another shower and tub and in this closet I might have to turn the light on for this one Kind of goes back there a little ways. Can you imagine? Gosh, I wish. As a kid, I had closets that big, you know what I mean? My room would always be clean. <laughs> uh, just shove everything in there. All right, so from here, we're going to go ahead and swoosh on downstairs and check out this basement. Ready? Swoosh. Just like that. Now, according to the floor plan, there was a bar. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. All right, this thing. Oh, what? <laughs> There's a massage room back there. Oh my. Y'all, this is this is crazy. So, big old bar area. Oh, a double-sided fireplace too. Oh, it's not a walkout basement. I thought it was going to be a walkout basement. Interesting. So a lot of this sits below grade. So that's cool. We've got this humongous theater room. And it's even got the, the steps up. So you don't have to have any anybody's head in front of you. We have utility room, light, is this? Nope, it's just kind of like a little storage room. It does have the electric panel in here. Yo, this is, ooh, they did it up. This is the dream life, you've made it. If you've got all this stuff in your basement. You have arrived. Another little sitting area. Big old yoga room. And this thing just keeps going. We got a little closet over here. I think the fourth bathroom, another single vanity. And shower and tub, so you can get done with your workout. Come over here, take a shower real quick before you go upstairs. And then finally, this could probably be another bedroom if you, you know, didn't have a masseuse. But if you do have a masseuse, there you go. It's even got a little closet back here. Man, we are two for two for some pretty sweet basements, but let me know what you think about this home down in the comments. If you want any more information on this model or West Ridge Homes, you can click that link right there at the top of the description, or you can go over to timothyplivingston.com, where you can search not only this floor plan, but all the floor plans that we've toured across the country. You can see if they're built in your area. Filter based off of number of bedrooms, price, square footage, style, layout, all that different fun stuff. Take the tour like you did just now, and then reach out to the builder, get your dream home underway, and then tell me about it. Let me see it. Let me come tour it. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Thank you so much for being here. I greatly appreciate it. And with that, my name is Timothy. I look forward to seeing your beautiful face in the next one.